Let's do a Paris story. Actually, let's do the Ritual of Baphomet. I did the first one. So let's do this one. And it's not too far. Awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and do this. I, oh, also, I wanted to check out that pistol. Fancy pistol. Which one is the fancy pistol? Wow, it sucks. My gold-plated pistol's the best. Doesn't get any better than that. It's fancier than the fancy pistol, too, so fuck you. My ears itch so bad. These headphones are just plastering this knitted hat onto my ears, and if... <laughs> Ritual of Baphomet. All right, let's see. Oh, it's an assassin. Hello. Research, an ancient cult, right here. Oh, I know. All there on the table. All there on the table. Okay. A summary of the medieval Inquisition into the Templar Order, 1307. Yes, in our profound conviction, the Grand Masters of the Order of the Templars worshipped the Baphomet, and caused it to be worshipped by their initiates. Yes, there existed in the past. And there may... There existed in the past? Does that even make sense? And there may be still in the present. Assemblies, which are presided over by this figure, which, with head of goat, seated on a throne, and crowned by a flaming torch between its horns. And give him his bloody wings, too! <laughs> oh, wait. Did I enter that place too early? Is that a thing? Was I supposed to start this next mission before I went and found that passphrase place? Oops. I'll serve you up my famous tooth explosion. <laughs> famous tooth explosion? That's the best you came up with? It is. I found the passphrase door too early. My bad. <laughs> yeah, it's right here. Ah, a new initiate. Hi. <laughs> We're using the chalices you stole in tonight's ritual. Enter. I know. Yeah, I came down here too early. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. I was down here, I was like, is that really it? Is there nothing down here? Okay, cool, I guess, but I guess I'm gonna go. Alright, well now I get to finally see what's up down here. Kill the Templar cultist 03. Oh! Alright. Hi. Glad to be here. Sisters and brothers of Baphomet. Yeah, I've already listened to that. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm killing Templars down here now. Fuck you. Alright, that's one. Now I need two more. There's one over there. Where's number three? Where is number three? Oh, there he is. I'm concerned about so many Templars joining our society. They're starting to influence important decisions. I don't see any problem. Templars have associated with us for centuries. I'm pretty sure that was a man talking with a woman's voice. No, 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 no. I think I'm gonna loop back here so he doesn't see me. Actually, I'm gonna hide here. There. Maybe if he sees me here. Hello. Oh shit. Look at me! Look at me! Alright, here we go. I don't freaking care. I'll kill this guy. I don't give a shit. Come here, you! Thank you! That's two. I didn't do it. They <laughs> all fall down. Ashes, ashes, we all god damn it. Oops. Collateral damage. My bad. I flinched. <laughs> I do believe that he is coming out. Perhaps not. Is your back killing you? Been on your feet too long? I know. I know the struggle. I know the struggle, bro. I also know the struggle of the Assassin and Templar of War, and I'm here to end it! There. Fuck you. Okay, now I have to get out. 
And the stairs are right here. How convenient. So I'm just gonna loop around this way. Maybe not. I'm just gonna disguise myself as a monk and get the fuck out of here. Hello, brother. Kind of been important. It's definitely not. Don't turn around. <sighs> that was a little close. <laughs> but I did it. Okay, I killed the Templar cultist, and now I am out for the second time. Actually, it's something to do down there. Hooray! Yes, the Templars are dead. That was cool. Look at that, a five. Awesome. Okay, so I basically went down there for no reason. I had to activate the next mission first. My bad, everybody. My bad. <laughs> uh oh, who's that? Criminal! You bastard! I can actually hit him, unlike you. Oh, you know, you know what? Let's do one of the cafe missions. I've done a couple of those, but the ones that I heard thought were interesting, I'm saving for recording. So let's see here. Um. Oh shit. That sounds really cool. Okay. I am not playing the tournament. I've done that, and it's oh my god, that part where you have to collect all the flags on the obstacle course. Now that is infuriating. Assassinate the man who betrayed Marie Antoinette's trust by exposing her escape attempt. Friends of Mirabeau enacted a plan to free Queen Marie Antoinette before her execution. The plan was foiled due to the treachery of gendarme Jean Gilbert, a Templar. That name sounds familiar. Gilbert knows too much about Mirabeau's machinations. We have learned that the National Guard is to honor him at the Church of the Madeleine. Assassinate him at the ceremony. The council. Who's that? Hey, buddy, how you doing? Jean Gilbert. Gilbert, something like that. That name sounds really familiar, like he's actually historically significant. There we go. Oh, no. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Thwarted. Okay, he's here somewhere. Probably the one up there. Nope, it's not you. Okay, where is he? We honor a real man of the people, Jean Gilbert. Gilbert. Only doing his job the walls of the temple. There he is. That's what I wanted you to do. Get the fuck off the bench. Now everyone's looking at you. Hope you're proud of yourself, bro. Okay, um... There we go. Least I could do, boys. Do 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 do. Do. That was a blended assassination. God, I'm good. I didn't even need to disguise. I didn't know he'd wander back into the crowd. That was useful. Okay, now it's time to get out. And everyone is freaking out because Jean Gilbert has just been murdered. All right, I'm out. Jean Gilbert, I want to read about you. God damn it. Fado liberated. Awesome! Continue. Jean Gilbert, I want to read about him. The gendarme who ruined Marie Antoinette's escape from the conciergerie. <laughs> I think that's how you say it, but I'm not sure. The queen had pinpricked a message into a piece of paper in reply to a secret message hidden in the petals of a carnation. Good God. This was an early form of DMing someone. Huh, very funny. Sean. The plan, known as the not even gonna try, dictated that Gilbert take his message to the Queen's allies on the outside in return for 400 louis. A tidy sum equivalent to three years' pay. Damn. Many of the Queen's captors felt compassion for her. Some even brought her flowers. This would greatly annoy... Good God. The public prosecutor. Bringing her flowers was a terrible idea. She probably had to check every bloody leaf in case there was a message on one. It was an enormous waste of her time. Like she had anything better to do in prison, John. Gilbert had second thoughts at the last minute. If the plan failed, it was the guillotine for him, too. He spoke up, revealing the escape attempt and ending the Queen's last desperate hope of survival. Ah, oh, human nature. It's like he'd betrayed the Queen to save his own skin, but, huh. Didn't spare him very long. Did it! We're gonna go back and we're gonna do this Black Office mission. I know what the Black Office is, was. Some secret like, spy organization type thing that, um, operated out of the, the post office. Investigate the existence of the so-called black office. Oh, indeed, yes. 
It appears that there is some sort of secretive activity loosely called the Black Office operating behind the scenes in the post office near Place Vendôme, I think. Whether this Black Office exists and just what it may be up to is a matter of conjecture. Infiltrate the post office and investigate the existence of the so-called Black Office, the council. Yes, masters! I've actually been to the post office in this game before. I went by it. Like, I was just running by and I saw the name post office on the outside of this building right, right in the corner. And I was like, oh! Is that where the black office operates? And I guess it is. If that's the one I'm going for. I'm sure there's more than one post office in Paris. Maybe. I don't know. Kill the spies. Oh shit, I only just now noticed that. I'm killing black office spies. All they really do is intercept and censor mail. Can't imagine they'd be very dangerous. There's one. There's two. There's three! Brilliant! Is this the same post office? I don't know. Might be a different one. I'm so busy for this. I wasn't. Oh my god. Okay, two's up there. Where's three? There's three. Three's back there. Is there a window I can get into up there? Yeah, there is. Okay, it's a little high, but still, I don't care. I'd rather work my way down than work my way up. The way that bottom floor looks like in terms of security. Oh, shit. Whack! I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Nobody noticed anything! Ah, fucking my life. Uh, bu 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 bu. Resist honor. Resist your desire for bloodlust. Okay. I'm gonna do something sneak. Mm. Smoke? Death. Another smoke. Oh, you're a bitch. What? A letter about Bonaparte? Die! There, you guys have seen the Rose Scepter in action now. Oh, fuck you. See that these packages are taken upstairs. Never mind. This Rose Scepter doesn't do much damage, in case you can't tell, but it is fast. Yeah! Okay. I can kill a couple guards. All is well. Okay, where is this third guy? He's over there. He's heading downstairs. I'm gonna go this way. You are not in a very convenient place. No, right? Oh god, he's coming back up the stairs. I was gonna shoot you in the face. Oh hi dear. Perfect. This is perfect. Come on, buddy. Perfect, thank you, my good gentleman. You're awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna go back out that window. It's time for me to get out! I still don't know if it's the same post office as the black office. I mean, obviously it is, but if it's the same one I've seen before. Whoop! Combat roll. And I'm out! Alright! The site being detected for just a little bit. Besides that, I did pretty good. Vendome liberated. Liberated. Also, any of you guys notice that Abstergo symbol that hangs out back there? So special as indeed. Let's do a Cafe Teat mission? Damsel and Seamstress. That's funny. That is so far away though. I'm gonna go I'm just gonna go ahead and fast travel. Just all. Thank you. I'm gonna
going to go ahead and fast travel because it's a really long way away. But um, I haven't done any outposts in France Yard yet. So maybe I'll go back and do that. I also think there's a couple pair stories and another murder mystery in there. No play going on today. I've gotten that achievement too when you have to sit here and talk to the dude who's apparently not at his post. You sit over here and you just watch a play. You have to watch the whole play through. And then once the play is over, you put the coffee down and walk out and then you get the achievement. Colette's already asked him for a new assignment. She's indomitable, that one. Ah, uh, Colette. I did that mission off camera as well. This assassin uh, spy who we had in deep cover was discovered and I had to go over there and kill the guys before they killed her. Anyway. Damsel and seamstress. The Queen's dressmaker, Rose Bertin, agreed to make new costumes for the theatre. But it seems her royal past wasn't enough to spare her the attentions of radicals. Les actes des apôtres vandalized her shop, and now Rose is nowhere to be found. Oh, shit. Go to the Marais and see what you can find out. I'm worried about her. As am I now. Okay. I will find Rose Bertin. Yes, woman, ma'am, mademoiselle goose, or whatever the frick your name is. This way! Onward! Okay, her workshop is here somewhere. Hello, sir. How are you today? What exactly am I looking for here? Oh, there she is. Oh, shoot. I need to get over there right now. She is in a bit of a pickle. And I need to help her with that. Screw you! Hello. Madame what an entrance! <laughs> Indeed. I came here to return Me. my work from the scoundrels. But, well... Say no more. Get yourself to safety. I'll deal with this. Merci. Bienvenue. Rose Bertin. Let's go ahead and read about you. Born on July 2nd, 1747, Rose Bertin became known as Marie Antoinette's Minister of Fashion. Nice. Now there's a job I'd be good at. Oh, really, Sean? Really, Sean? <laughs> she opened her first boutique, Le Grand Mongolien, when aged 22 in the very chic Saint-Honoré neighborhood. I wouldn't say my French is perfect, but on first glance, sh glance she seems to have named her shop The Big Mongolian. <laughs> if I'd been her minister of fashion, I think I'd have advised her to change that. I don't care how big the Mongolian in question was. He could be massive. It's no excuse. Who's going to shop at The Big Mongolian? <laughs> Dresses were simplified to allow women greater freedom of movement, in particular by abandoning panniers, which were considered too cumbersome. What are panniers? I'm sorry to go on about this, but you just don't name shops after random and normal. Okay. <laughs> God damn it, Sean. She left France during the Reign of Terror and would only return in 1800. Hmm. Wow. See, to read about historical figures like that, and it's like, I just talked to that person. I don't freaking care if it's virtual or not. It's freaking cool. So shut up. Actually, this one's closer. So let's go ahead and get this one. Retrieve the costume. Zero of three. Oh. I see. Okay, then. Let's go up here. And look at me all you wish. I know I'm sexy. No. I may be sexy, but it doesn't mean I have to listen. I hate that sound. Here's the plan. Get the plans, get the plans, get the plans. Oh no. Oh no. Retrieve the plans! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. That would have worked. That would have worked. Fine, you wanna fight? You wanna fucking fight? Die already! No one says I need to be stealthy. There. Tried to be stealthy, didn't work. Plan B was initiated. <laughs> plan B. Also known as Plan Fuck You. Okay, there we go. Get out of the tree! Thank you. Who do you think you are? Right on Hagedon? Let's go ahead and hop in. And. Over. Thank you. Okay. I can do this sneakily. Ah, 
Uh-oh, that guy's coming over. Get off the wall! Thank you. Back through here. Excuse me, where are you going? Abby, you... You suck it too. There. The Rose Scepter's not very good against higher level enemies, but it's just so fun to use. I don't know why. Just clocking someone on the head. <laughs> Something fun about that. <laughs> I know I'm a twisted freak. Ah. Alright, there's that. Hello, monsieur. Bonsoir, monsieur. Oh, it's on the other side of the wall! That would have been cool. Oh, well, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. Aya! Aya! Yeah. Okay, that was cool. That's a sniper. If ever I saw one. Damn it. Oh, come on. Poke your head out. Oh, you know what? I just decided I don't like you. Fuck you too! Woo! Okay, now I can get the chest. I got one of them stealthily. That's good enough for me. Costume number two. How the hell do I get all this back to the theater? I could I carry it, I suppose. Locate the nearest carriage. I don't freaking know. You're a smart guy, Arno. You'll come up with something. Yeah. And done. All right, there we go. Actors on stage of the Cafe Tiaf now have costumes. Awesome! That's cool.